Hey guys, Billy Effard here, and uh, I'm doing another vlog today on the reasons I like real estate or why I like real estate, or you may call it the advantages to investing in real estate. So we've already listed for you in this process four advantages for investing in real estate. Today I want to talk about number five and number six uh, in this vlog. And so if you want to go back and watch the other vlogs, I sure encourage you to so you can see the other reasons. But today I want to, take, I want to talk about today uh, number five and number six of the reasons why I like real estate. And so number five is, is what I call equity buildup. Now this is something many people don't quite understand about real estate. You know, we've already covered appreciation that real estate will go up in value, generally speaking. We went through the Great Recession, it went down for a couple of years, but it came roaring back. Well, when we talk about equity buildup, what we mean is that when you purchase real estate, it's like a forced savings account. Now, whenever you put money down on a piece of real estate, and then you have to pay what we call principal and interest on that particular loan, if you borrowed it, well, the interest part is what you have to pay that that cost that actually costs you for getting the loan. So it's really the price you pay for getting the loan. But in today's age, the interest rates at the time I'm recording this uh, for for a good loan, for a 30-year amortization loan in real estate, there it's it's less than four percent, which is incredible because historically it's been in that six seven percent range. And so right now you're able to borrow money really cheap, but we're not talking about the, you know, how interest is lower today. We're really talking about what I call the equity buildup. Now the first one we talked about was appreciation. So actually it goes up in value. So real estate appreciates and will go up. Now today when we're talking about equity buildup, we're talking about something different than just appreciation. Appreciation does cause your equity to increase, okay, just so we're clear. But when we talk about equity buildup, that's like a forced savings account, what I'm really talking about is paying down your principal. So always remember in a 30 year, or even 15 year amortization schedule that, so let me explain that. That's what the bank or the lender issues you and it shows you how much principal and how much interest that you're actually paying every month. Okay, so in the beginning of a loan that is amortized, then you're paying way more interest uh, up front. You always pay your interest, and as the loan continues on, it starts changing down here in about the 12th year, 13th year, where you actually start paying about the same in principle as you are in interest. So what happens is though, even in the very beginning, you're still paying some actual principal down. So let's say you bought a $100,000 house, just for example, and you got it at, you know, just give me a round number, 4%. Then you're going to be paying, let's say your first payment uh, in that $100,000 uh, property is going to be a lot more interest than it is principal, but there's still just a little bit of principal. But then the more you pay that down, the, each month you're paying more on principal. Every month you pay, you're actually paying more on principal. It actually increases, and the amount of interest there for a while will actually start going down. Now, that's like a forced savings account. So every time you write a check to pay your payment, principal and interest, and for most of you that have escrowed taxes and insurance, it'll be principal, interest, taxes, and insurance in your payment, but the principal portion you actually are paying down. And so for example, I think it's on a $100,000 house, you may over a period of time, you know, get up to where you've paid down 5,000 on the principal, then 10,000, then you'll get all the way up to where you've paid 50,000 down, 70,000 down, we're talking about a $100,000 loan here. And so the point is, is that not only is the house going up, typically speaking, because of appreciation, but you're also paying the amount you owe on the house down. Now you're paying that plus interest, but that part that you owe on the house actually comes down. I call that like a forced savings account. So in other words, every month when I pay on that, I'm paying down what I owe on the principal of that house, and it's like putting money into a savings account because what I owe gets less and less. 
And then the next reason, number six, that I like real estate, and I'll handle this one pretty quickly, is what I call control. Now, there's a couple of things about the control of real estate that I love. And let me, let me contrast it for you. If you go buy, let's say you buy Apple stock. Now, Apple's a great stock at the time that I'm recording this particular vlog. But you know the thing about buying Apple, you have no control. Now, you could buy it or sell it. For those of you that are more sophisticated, you know what I mean by putting a stop loss, for example, on the stock. So if it goes down, you can sell it. But really, the control you have in that is buying and selling. You can't control how many jets the CEO may fly on for the company. You can't control how money spent. You can't control how money comes and goes. You can just buy the stock or sell the stock. But in real estate, when you actually purchase real estate, you control how much you want to pay for it. You control how much you want to rent it for. You control how much you want to rehab, spend on the rehab to get it to get it up where you can either rent it or sell it. You get to control all those aspects of real estate. And so the reason that I share that with you is real estate has a lot more direct personal control that you can have in that property or in that investment than you could say just buying some other investment like a stock or a bond. You don't really control. You can't control whether it goes up and down. You can't control how they spend money. But when you own your own real estate, you can. So this is Billy Epperhart. Thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here.